Hi. So we can't leave, but we can still place Amazon orders. Where can I, where can I, where can I, where can I sit you? We can still place Amazon orders, so I have been. And there were a few other things that I wanted to change in the apartment that would have been parts of other videos that you would have seen. In our kitchen makeover video, we changed our knobs to little round um, cuppet knobs. And we really like those knobs. They're very nice. The only problem is when your hands are wet, they can slip. Like the little cup to put your finger, the little divot for your finger isn't exactly enough. Amazon has a variety of knobs. I just got some other knobs. But we just got these. And I'm just gonna go and replace the thumb pulls with these. I know I have vice grips, but they seem to have gone missing. We have a project. Let me show you. <laughs> this table was a birthday gift to me from Sean. We broke it. <laughs> It'll look like that. But, and it's from Urban Outfitters. And in the comments on Urban Outfitters, people were saying how it's not great i mean we all know urban outfitters makes cute furniture but if you start reading the reviews they are often very dubious and not really that great what people have to say about this table is correct it breaks very easily and i'll show you why the table top has this little this thin piece of metal here where this little thing is stuck to and you are supposed to screw the top into the base well, this is very shallow where that little bolt sits and very easily it comes unattached. So what we're gonna do, but now this is down in here and we can't get it out. This is why we got the vice grips. So we're gonna take this out, drill a hole into the meat of the table, use some E6000 glue like once this has more space to sit into, glue it in, and then we're gonna try um, screwing it back into the base once this is a bit more solidly constructed. So that's the plan for this, which will eventually be a part of the overall living room refresh. While I have laundry going and I have the dishwasher going that you can probably hear, let's change some kitchen knobs. When Sean is editing, I have to take his phone away from him because if left to his own devices, he would be on TikTok and Twitter and Instagram and never get the video done. That's not true. Phone confiscated. Okay, handles changed. Think they look great. Much easier to grab. Down here, because we don't, Sean's making tea in his tea kettle again. <laughs> Because we don't really use the baby drawers, I just decided to leave those, but I did change um, the cabinets. And I did turn this this way for this drawer. And then Sean was nice enough to do the cabinets up top for me. So yeah, I think those are cool. We'll be sure to link um, these knobs in the description. We did break one, um, trying to be a bit too forceful. Luckily, the vice grips were here and we were able to get those off. Like this will be much better for cooking. Yeah. Let me check this out the way. <laughs> Got it? Is it gripping it? It is, but I think maybe I'm not strong. Or was I turning the wrong way? Okay, just 
just get it. Let me Googles. We might have done some irreparable damage here. Because now we've just stripped the thread off. You know what? It would have been like a ratchet. Might have been the answer. One of those. Ratchet screw? I don't know. This is still a thing. So unfortunately, the audio on this part didn't record. But basically what we're saying is this cabinet lives here in the dining room. It houses sticky icky products and like some other things, but it needs handles. I either have to use the bottom or the top to like open the doors and I'm sick of it and I wanna put handles on it. We put this together ourselves, it's a PAX from um, Ikea. We put it together ourselves and we probably should not have done that, which is why we will not be doing it again. And it is not put together <laughs> the best. The doors are a little crooked, but that's okay. Cause we're just gonna put the knobs on correctly as if the doors were not crooked in hopes that one day the doors can be corrected. So really I'm just asking Sean opinion, Sean's opinion, and I'm asking the opinion of you guys, which of these three knobs do we think is best? So I got this set from Zara Home. I really think Sean has thrown the other set away because I know I bought two and I only have one, but whatever, we won't get into it. So is it this set or I have a gold bar set from Target or just a round gold set from Target? So we do a little back and forth, but ultimately decide it's between the gold bar to match the black ones in the kitchen. I kind of gave you a view so you could see what they look like in the, what the knobs look like because this sits next to the kitchen. So it's either between the gold bar or the round one from Zara. Uh, and what we're just gonna do is measure to the middle of the like, Oh, what is this called? Paneling? I don't know. But we're gonna me measure to the middle and just, even though, like I said, the doors are crooked, we're gonna put them in the middle. Just to reverse it, baby. Oh. We put the tape on there to stop any splintering in case that was a thing. I'm not sure, but have we gone all the way through? Yep. Oh, can't open it. That's why we add knobs. Yeah, we can't see. That would have maybe happened on the front. But that's okay. It's in the back. All right, the other one. It's easier reversing it. Say that again. I said Sean likes to feel manly doing the screwing. <laughs> I do the screw, I do with the drilling. The drilling. It leaves the lady job to me. But that's fine. Oh yeah, uneven knobs, baby. <laughs> but uneven doors, show them the top. Uneven doors. So well, we could have faked it, but we'd like to think that one day we'll move this unit or we'll sell it to someone and they'll put it together. We're gonna leave it in here. Correctly. And they'll be able to hang the doors more evenly. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what I wanted so that I could get in here. She don't ever use this closet anyway. Excuse you, yes I do. I keep the lights that we're using to film this in here. Okay, and now I can't decide if I like the more substantial one or the one you just 
watch this put on you guys down in the comments offer up an opinion there's the kitchen so you kind of see that and more of how they look from far away i'm just worried that these look a little dinky these are obviously uh, more made for a dresser so i don't know yeah let me know your opinion down in the comments oh right now i'm filming okay is it rolling yes it's rolling hi <laughs> so we have a problem in our bedroom where the light switches are backwards. Sorry about the dirt right here, but we're about to clean that off. But see how this is on, but there's no light on? So when you turn it down, that should be off. But when you do that, the light comes on, so it's backwards. So what we did... But it's, it's like that in here too, right? Yeah, it's like that in the bathroom too. So same deal. Down is on, up is off, backwards. So we got the panel here and we identified which switches are the dining room, kitchen, the bedroom and the living room. So today we're gonna work on the bedroom and the bathroom, which I hopefully we got right because we didn't label which one was the bathroom. We can test it. Okay, so this one should be the bathroom. Let's check. Yes. Turn that back off so no current is running. And this one should be the bedroom. Correct. So let's start with the bedroom. Please, God, don't let me die. We got a flathead. Let's see my pen chip, chip the paint. Oh, I was no. definitely going to chip the paint. But hopefully, we could just slide it back in. <sighs> really? How do I get this off? Did you have to do that grunt like that? How do I get this off? <laughs> Let's just like that. You gotta slide it under the paint. Here, you do this. You the pro. So you the pro. What <laughs> is so strong? You can leave that there hanging. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody, pray for your boy. Pray for me. I don't want to <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> so you're just planning to, you know you can turn that around and then it's a Phillips. This. You can take oh, this out, oh. turn it around. I know that. It's a Phillips. You know, the tool knowledge in this push household. It, push it further, push it all the way in. The tool knowledge in this household, <laughs> as you can see. We know what we want to do, we just don't know how to do it. Oh my god, I don't want to die! <laughs> 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 Moment of truce. Moment of truce? Huh? I don't know why in New York City apartments they always paint the outlet. <laughs> Just take it off! Like to the wall. So annoying. Now we gotta get some white paint to fix y'all lazy mistakes. All right, let's test it out. This off. So now this is down. You ready? Yeah. On. Oop, no. Does it work? Oh, shh. <laughs> you must have to actually move the wires. Oh, crap. Get the candles out. Oh no, I didn't turn the bedroom on. All right, try it off now. <laughs> well, what did you turn on? Uh, the bathroom. Okay. Okay, wait, turn this off? It's off. It's on. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> I'm an electrician. No, all you did was- I'm an electrician, baby! <laughs> Flip things upside down. Yeah! <laughs> all right, time to do the bathroom. Is the bathroom off? Oh. Look at you. Hole punch. I might have done it already, but I'm gonna just show y'all. You just go down right here, and you push down. So you hear that? Boom, you got a hole. All right, there's a hole in there. Oh yeah, there it is, okay. 
I think I got a drill in here. This, I don't know, is a steel one, but let's see if it works. Okay, it chowed down my drill bit. <laughs> so that's trashed. We needed that. <laughs> no. No anymore drill bits. This little table is causing us so much stress. Cause ain't no way steel this is gonna work on steel. I'm not sure that you know that anything is actually made of. I'm just saying. Maybe try that thing in there, but backwards. Because that is left threaded. That thing is left threaded. So if you put your, so when you put your drill going in, it's going to drill left. So if you put your drill going out, it should go, it'll maybe go in. Nope, it didn't even get in here. This is broken. Go try the masonry drill bit. That's for concrete and block, like brick and concrete. So do you want to admit defeat right now or do you want to try? You ruin it, you gonna ruin another set of, you gonna ruin another set of things. So try the concrete one where we have more than one. We don't have more than one. So functionally, there were two places in the apartment that were working fine, but aesthetically, I just wasn't in love with what was happening. So I figured I would get these two tables. Target was having a 20% off home decor sale. And so I picked up two tables that I had been eyeing in hopes that they would make what was happening still functional but just a little bit more pretty so let's open these tables and see if my dreams have come true two tables now let's see if we can stick them in their new homes and if they satisfy what's happening so I love this little area of the apartment it is the perfect place to sit down take your shoes off put your shoes on but what happens oftentimes is when Sean and I are leaving together because there's a pillow here and there's the books and our basket for catching keys here. There's really only one good seat to sit down. So I want to move the books, but I do still want to have this basket here because it is actually functional. So that's why I got the table and I'm gonna stick it in here. So this is a really small table, obviously. It is a drink table is what it's called because it's really small and can just hold a drink. But what it can also hold is my little basket. And then I freed up another seat. Haven't lost any functionality but I freed up another seat. And I freed up these books to live in other places in the apartment. Okay, we're back talking about these knobs again. I was almost sold on this gold one when I remembered that I had these two knobs that I got from Anthropology that are by Susan Sullivan Ceramics. And I just feel like if you've, you've seen this now, it goes better with all of this. And then I also have this piece that is also by Susan Sullivan Ceramics. So I feel like they just go better. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with those knobs. What do you guys think? Still, let me know in the comments. This is a very easy fix and 
you know, somebody might sell me. I mean, these work a little bit better. I don't know. I think I'm going to change them to these. Still cricket because <laughs> doors are still cricket, but I think that I like those. I like those better. Really big fan of Susan and her work. And these were only $5 because they were having a sale at Anthropology the day that I got them. If you watched our boyfriend tag video um, that is live on the channel that will be sure to link, then you know that the thing we argue about the most, dishes. This is our sink. And this, this is a conservative amount of dishes actually. The dishwasher is broken, but I said in that video that I had a solution on the way and it has arrived. This is my solution. Because we only have a single basin sink, often when it is full of dishes, as it is now, if you wanted to do something else in there, let me turn this way into the light, Celia. If you wanted to do something else in there, it'd be rather hard. Dish drain means that we can put the dishes in here and then if you wanted to do something else because you're not ready to wash the dishes, this can be lifted out of the sink. Let's give it a try and see how it works. Oh, let me share a little bit more about the dish drain. It has a removable drain in here. So if you wanted to use it to actually wash the dishes, to use a little less water, because now when we're hand washing, we have to fill this up pretty far with water and that uses a lot of water. So this would help to save a little bit of water. Now, I did have to take out the larger pieces, but that's okay because, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, but look at that. Look at that. You could work if you wanted to, or you could completely, completely lift this out of the sink. I feel good about it. Okay, we're back and we're talking about that copper table that you just saw a couple clips ago. I bought it for this area over here because this table, which is one of those, I don't even know if Ikea makes these tables anymore. Anyway, it's an Ikea table that I spray painted gold years ago that I was gonna do a DIY project with that I never did. And when we moved here, it just ended up over here and kinda as the quarantine table when plants had like spider mites or something. But if you look at the space, the spindliness, like the openness of this table, it's a laptop table, which is why it only has legs on this side. But the openness of this table just doesn't work because this table is already doing that, that's sitting over the heat thing here. Uh, so I, I don't like it. I want it to go away. So that's why I got the copper table. So I'm gonna switch them out and see if I like that better. So I only want a table over here because we're running out of space on this table and because this is the only source of light, it doesn't reach that far into the apartment. So the plants kind of have to live close to the window. So it's a space issue. Now what do we think? Part of me wants there to be <laughs> no table. I'm just gonna rearrange really quickly and see so that we can both see, you guys and we can see, if it looks better with or without the table in general. This table I like better, without a doubt. But let's see if we need the table at all. Now, personally, I think that the answer is no table. Sean, what do you think? Table, no table. I like no table. I think it's no table. It's just a bigger space. Yeah. Maybe we put a chair there and make it our zen room. No? Uh, do you feel very zen? 
Not right now, but I would. With the sirens? It's never, oh, yeah. It's never not a siren in here. But I think it's no table. You guys let me know down in the description what you think. Also, shout out to my PJs. I just posted these yesterday on Instagram because... Since being stuck inside, I really realized that I didn't have a whole lot of like real actual pajamas. She be wearing big t-shirts. <laughs> so I got some pajamas because I was buying stuff for the bathroom makeover that's coming. Um, but yeah, shout out to my pajamas. Okay. Okay. All right, we're back. I'm bald this time. But, uh... And another Morehouse shirt. Yeah. So we got all the tools. These are steel drill bits. Remember the right tools? So remember this bad boy? We got our spool school, our screw extractors. And I'm gonna use a hammer drill, put the drill bit in. After I punch the hole. Well, I'm gonna do this first. Bing! All right. I think that worked. Who knows? It was going the wrong way though. Wait, which way is the right way? Oh wait, it was going the right way. <laughs> Tools. <laughs> I'm a, I need a training course. All right, pray for us guys. It's going in, it's going in. Ah! <laughs> Because we stripped the thread, we watched a video on how to extract a stripped screw. And you need to get bolt extractors or screw extractors, which is what we got. And then you have to drill a hole. No, I gotta get the plies. The plies, baby. Into the thing that you're trying to remove. And this oh. is reverse threaded, and it should go into the thing and pull it out. It feels like it's going in there. You need some pliers? I don't feel like it'll be okay. What do I do after I... Then you twist that out. Using something. Should we watch the video as a refresher? No. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Who cares about... You know what I'm saying? They're getting it out. Getting this it out right. This for like a month and a half. Perfect. All right, I got to drill the, we watched the video. <laughs> we watched the video. Tools. Again. And now we're drilling a deeper hole. Okay. Take this and screw it counterclockwise. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It would help if this was actually gripping it. I'm trying to the not. smaller ones over here, too. He was doing it from this angle. Okay. This is not gripping, but it's in there. Oh, well, show. Yeah. Okay, so we did everything literally <laughs> under the sun and then it pulled it broke off a piece of the screw and we were like okay this is shot but what i did was i just put the pliers around the exposed bit and now i am trying to just twist it out and it looks like it's moving so pray that this is coming out and it's getting a little easier and I think, I think, woo! Look at that, look at my hand. 
You got it out. Look how deep this thing was. Oh my god, I hate you! No, I love you. I love you and I hate you at the very same time. I did it. You did it! Oh. You did it! Ooh. I screwed the table up for sure. This is the piece that finally came out of the table. Um, as you can see, I don't know what, I don't even know how to start to search for one of these <laughs> on Home Depot. Yeah, I will show them what I ordered on Home Depot. Um, but it looks just like that. Yeah, but for some reason, I don't know what, I don't even know where I would put this. <laughs> This looks like one of them Home random sent us this. Ikea parts. This is, I ordered this. This is what they sent us. It came all the way from Atlanta and it took like a week and a half. I mean, no shade to Home Depot because they are working through the pandemic. But like, man, I wish they had just sent us the right part. My hands look like this. Salt of the earth, babe. So your pajamas could look like you was sitting <laughs> on a beach. So if you want this same table that I will be sure to link down in the description because I think it's still available on Urban Outfitters. Don't go directly and try to screw the tabletop into the base. Take that out, drill a hole into the table, put that in there, make sure it's secure, and then try and put it in the table because you don't want to have to do all the stuff that we just had to do. So the saga continues with the table. We will be sure to update you guys, but I think that this video has gotten long enough. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check the description bar for links to all of the things that we talked about in this video. Thank you as always for watching. <laughs> this was a weird one. See you next time. Bye.